if we were just given this and what's below it as also a, just a diagram of awareness, it would kind of make sense to me that even if in the crown chakra and all of that kind of stuff, like in design, let's just talk about design as a designer because the creators are, are great designers. Now, if I'm going to design something, I'm going to move the energy source more to the center because it's, I had to run less cables. There's a lot of things that I, I, as a designer, that I'm going to want my energy source somewhat in the center. I'm going to want to move from the center because it's just, it takes less time for me to get to all the regions. So it's not that, let's say, for instance, the top of Mount Maru is not on point, literally. It's still that we wouldn't put the, we wouldn't put the actual fuel supply on the top of the mountain. We would put it like in the center. That's why we said before that going to the center of self going to the center of the spindle is the biggest key to this. Because now if you look at this, it's just basically saying, center yourself. Now, I even heard, and I cannot confirm this, but it does make a bit of sense to me that the heart in the human being, you know how our heart is a little off to the left? That the heart actually was always in the center of the being. And that the same reason why the planet has this little tilt which is confirmable by the stars by the way some people say well how do you even know that there's a tilt on it it could be lying because they just want to deny everything when you do a time lapse you actually see the tilt <laughs> so that that little tilt could possibly have moved our heart a little bit off to the left and bringing that Bringing yourself into center, bringing your eye into the center, just making an intention. They do this even in massage to bring to make an effort to bring stuff that may be off to one side or another just to the center as saying, I'm going to bring everybody in. We're all going to have a meeting together. We're all going to get together. We're all going to love each other here. Because this is going to be the most powerful point of communication. This is the center. This is not the top because not everybody want to hike up there. We're going to make it right here at the center. So now also here's the thing, because the serpent thing is replete. Meaning that it seems like, again, the energetic potential of the spiral is always shown. Do you see this area down here? Now, it's not hard to tell that they're, they're, they're saying this is something serpentine, something aquatic. And as I said before, we got all of these parts from things that are even uh, displayed separately in the ocean. George Haeckel's radiolaria, radiolaria, some of them, the shells that were discovered being seen in the exact patterns of the heart, the exact patterns of the pancreas, the muscles, the mullus, all being pieces and parts of the body. And this form of the body we're using being a collaboration, <laughs> a co-creation. So, but seeing in the bowels, there's also a serpent there, if you may, or a hydra. You know, there's different terms. And what this is a reference to is this is reference to your heater. Like your fuel source. Another fuel source. And you see the ventricles, the ventricles and things they connect to power. Like they just, the artist is doing his best. He's got the ventricles there and he's showing one ventricle going right into the center. He makes a point. I'll blow that up a little bit more. He makes a point to show you one of those ventricles going into the center like, yo, this is cable work. This is <laughs> bio cable work. We got one connection from the large and small intestines going right into the center of the beam to power it. This is why it's important to make sure that... <clears throat> Get some water here. I guess there it is. Make, it's important you get a lot of water. <laughs> okay. So it just means that that small intestines, large intestines, as many have seen that have gone on a cleanse. Once you move out that lining of uh, fecal matter, it makes this thing vibrate. It's very simple stuff. 
as more and more food and things get in here ever since you were even born because it's a long track. It just kind of hangs out on the walls and then it gets like hard. And then your whole system, let's say down here, your, your burner, it gets like, a, you know how if you've used a distiller before, you start seeing all of that calcium building up all around the sides. So basically then what happens is because this thing is like, a, let's say the rat rattler, like a like rattlesnake. This thing is used to rattling, like vibrating. And through its vibration, it sends a lot of power into the rest of the chakras, right? That's why they call that the root chakra. But it's just, again, taking it into the basics, but going deep in there to realize that, once again, that this is being powered by that. <laughs> and that just as amazing as this could all look, this is us. Like, even when I, when I uh, look at stuff like this, I'm like, fascinating. And then I go something like, I wonder who lives up there. <laughs> Until I take this within myself. And then you'll always, again, you'll get always the tree. In every design, like there's either tree on the left, tree on the right. Again, we're going to dive in this a little bit tomorrow so that way we can get a little bit more clear as we keep going forward. But you see now the tree over here. So they always depict that tree. And it's funny because even the tree starts, the tree starts at the top. To again, to further hint that all of this, this is the layered uh, the layers of creation. And I guess that's the last thing I'll say about this today. This was important. This was actually what was coming through the dream last night when I was just dancing around the dream. It was explaining how like every existence that I'm living, that I'm bringing in new inhabitants into my world. And that Every time a world comes to the close of its spiral, which there's never a close in the spiral. It's like a continuum. But every time it makes one complete circuit and there's a transition that's made, all of what was done and all of what was a part of that previous cycle all lives in that world. And if you ever want to return to it, it would be like going out of the gates of yourself. And go making this trip all the way back to when you were into complete illusion. <laughs> and it also shows you in every single diagram that, that there's always a limit. I guess there has to be a limit because the, the, the artist has to stop drawing. But we never end in seeing this seven always there, the seven layers. Seven days of the week. And it just tells us that this experience that we're having is for us to come into this stage of awareness to who we truly are and how to protect ourselves, what to use for protection, why protection is really there, and most importantly, that the protection is used for projection. It's the same, almost the same word. That the protection is the projection. So as long as you know how to project yourself into the space that you want to be. It's like you never die. Now, they always show, they show this in a couple of movies. It's like if you know how to teleport, you just teleport right at the end of the death. And then you go right into life again. Boom, boom. All right. Where is this one at? Oh, this is when I was tripping. Let me get out of here. Boom, boom. Which one is this? Oh, this is the one you saved this one. All right, save this one. <laughs> stay, save. Let, let's stay here for a while. I remember that feeling. It was great. You can slide through all of the realms that you're connected to. And because, again, you have DNA, that means you're connected to all of them. Gaining access is allowance in self. It's making things very clear. What do all these symbols mean? Who are these other beings that are around me right now? At least bring out their chiefs. 
That's the crown of the Magi. You see the bird, you see the snake, and you see the lion. Bring me your chiefs. Take me to your leader. Now, the great initiation. Not who are you, who are we? Imagine sitting in front of a being that's vast, and instead of be like, who are you? What's your story? <laughs> like we do on Earth, it'd be like, who are we? <laughs> that's going to be a good one in the meditation. Like, if something come at you, ah, just be like, hold on. Who are we? <laughs> and then it's, it just cancels out. Staying into that zone is it then self of making sure that we're cycling energy through self. That everything is good here. Just like that, like we talked about the mushroom that you can if I if if we if we have to take anything that you're you're saying and you're giving out, it makes us all laugh. It makes us all have euphoric visions. It makes us all feel like we're in an orgasmic state. When you're doing that around people, you made it. I'm telling you, you can go anywhere in the cosmos. They're going to fling the doors open for you. If you can bring in sweet smells and, and, and great beauty and honor, you can bring in those things. That's where the resource comes from. And that means that you use your galactic boat to go and pick up the goods.